Well, good morning and welcome back to our final fabulous segment of City Line. With me, I have two very busy on the go women uh, who are here to talk about Light Up Your Ride. That could be a song. Do you have a jingle for that yet? Not yet. We need your help creating it. Oh, <laughs> I, th I think that that could be even be, that needs to be a rap. That all really right. does. Okay. So to all the rappers out there, send in your suggestions for the Light Up Your Ride rap. We'll be showing the... Uh, yeah, we're ready for it. <laughs> we're ready to go. Speaking of that, Miss Hallie Burt, you are a coordinator for Downtown on the Go. Welcome back. Thank you. I've missed you the past few times you haven't been here. I'm like, where's my Hallie Burt? <laughs> I know I have to share the wealth, but... You know, mm -hmm. um, Meredith Sonia, hello, my dear. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. Thank you. You are the active transportation coordinator for the city of Tacoma, and it's good to have you in the studio to talk about light up your ride. Yeah, glad I'd to be here. A, maybe a little bit of a of a that's something like that. Okay, so Hallie, besides an opportunity for a rap or a jingle, yes. what is light up your ride? So light up your ride is our annual bike light giveaway. We will be posted up in Tolson Plaza passing out um, bike lights and back reflectors and flashlights, all to get people excited about winter commuting, whether you're walking or biking or getting to the bus stop. It's important to stay really well seen and stay safe. And so it's just a, an opportunity to celebrate the continued riding and, riding and walking throughout winter and fall. Oh, we have some pictures here. Tell us what we're seeing, my dear. This is um, from two years ago. Uh, just different pictures of those are the lights, the silicone bike lights with they're our great. bike advocacy agenda. Yeah, they're really great because you can move them from if you want to have them on your bike or on your backpack. Yeah, um, yeah really great resource and tool. That's that's interesting because I had I have not. Oh, and here we have a little little kiosk, a little tent here to talk mm -hmm. about. Um, lots of people attended this, didn't they? Mm -hmm. So I had not seen the lights and. <laughs> Okay, so we all go back to what we know in terms of our age. Here I am thinking, they're like the big old lights that you guys are handing out. Of course, I should have really thought about what year I was in. <laughs> um, and that there are these little tiny ones that can be moved around in case mm -hmm. you have some lights and maybe those lights are not enough. So this may seem like a very obvious question, Meredith. Mm -hmm. And maybe besides decoration, we could put that aside. But... Why is it important for people on bikes to have lights? Because for the most part, we are pretty well lit. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of our trails are well lit. Mm -hmm. We have a very brightly lit downtown. So people could say, do we really need those lights? Right. So it really comes into play, particularly at this time of year when, you know, it gets dark a lot earlier. When people are heading to work, it's often dark in the, in the dead of winter. Um, so we just want to make sure people are visible and predictable. Uh, and, that, and having the front, front lights and back lights is, is part of that. Um, you know, recently it's been pretty foggy too, so I you know. could barely see a few feet in front of you. So especially if you're biking, you just want to be as visible as possible. Um, it is also a state law to have um, a front light and a rear reflector. Oh, that so. little thing. Yeah. <laughs> good to know yes. that. <laughs> it's good to know, but it's, I mean, in reality, at the end of the day, the law is there for a reason and it's there yes. to, to keep us safer. So. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. if you didn't know about that law, now you have a chance to be um, uh, in coordination with that law mm -hmm. because free bike lights. Here mm -hmm. we go. So Hallie, is this event for people who are just on bikes? So it's a bike focused event, but we will welcome anyone who stops by. Um, if you're someone who walks to work or walks to the bus stop, it is equally important that you have um, a good flashlight and reflective gear. And so um, we'll welcome anyone to, to come and stop by. We're encouraging, I think because of the bike law particularly, that's been the focus, but mm -hmm. really anyone who is walking around downtown or in Tacoma at all needs to be well lit, especially in these dark and damp Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, you called it about that fog there, Miss Meredith. Mm -hmm. So um, the new thing in Tacoma in terms of transportation, mm -hmm. line bikes, yes, mm -hmm. and scooters. Can those people stop by too and get lights, Meredith? Yes. So they, they're they welcome to stop by. The bikes and scooters themselves are, are lit, but right. these people might have bikes or other, um, or they are walkers. Maybe they're not they're pedestrians. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So so people are welcome to stop by. I think what's really great about these, um, about having people who are on the bikes or scooters is that they, you know, maybe they're not comfortable enough to bike to work yet. And this is giving them that opportunity. And, you know, once they test it out, then yeah, maybe they'll actually, they'll take a bike and 
put it on their personal bike to try to bike to Absolutely. work. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah, and a little practice time there. Yeah, exactly. Um, rumor has it that our Mayor Woodert's is, is, uh, was, was seen on one of the scooters. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. um, she loves it. She mm -hmm. loves it, zipping around town. Mm -hmm. So um, we wanna make sure that our beloved mayor is very well lit as well. Yes. So maybe we'll have to send some of those lights to her because <laughs> we'll make sure she gets some. God forbid something happens to <laughs> the whole city council. There we go. <laughs> okay, so speaking of that, Hallie, what can people expect at the event? Walk me through it. Yes, so it is, um, it's not a bike ride. It's really just stop by any time you'd like in between five or seven and we're passing out lights and we're also going to be passing out hot chocolate um Ooh, good yes keeping people nice and warm that's right and also we'll be sharing our bike advocacy agenda throughout the year we're sort of working we have some focused projects throughout Tacoma that we're trying to direct people's energy towards. Um, recently, we got to check one off the list, the bike lanes on 6th Ave. Yes. We have a really, as you mentioned, we have a really mm -hmm. supportive mayor and council and people like Meredith working really hard at the city to make Tacoma a better place for people on, on bikes and on foot. And so um, we just want to help channel our community's energy around those topics to the right projects. And, and this may be a little bit of a mission drift, but let's not also forget that stopping by and getting those little lights just in time for trick-or-treats. Okay. It's, it's after. It's oh, it's after. First. Ah, I blew but, it. <laughs> well, the I mean, first. I mean, come on. You could, yeah, but still, I mean, it's next save year. them. Save yeah. Them. <laughs> save them for next year. Mm -hmm. Save them for New Year. Save them for first night. Mm -hmm. There we go. Well, not. It's, I mean, for really any event, walking yeah. or biking, it's walking or biking, yeah. Lights. Walking, mm -hmm. walking down to Stadium Thriftway, put mm -hmm. your light on, on, on your coat. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. So let's talk about Meredith. Any other winter riding tips that people tend to forget or just perhaps sure. don't think about? Sure. So I'm going to be terribly honest. When I first moved here, I was terrified of biking in the winter, biking in the rain, ah. um, on the hills. And I think it's, it's something to definitely overcome gradually, um, but rain gear is, is really important. Um, so just a lightweight jacket, maybe maybe some rain pants if it's intense, but, uh, but yeah, and then I also brought a prop. Um, oh, yes. And this is something I wear when it is, uh, when I'm biking at night, and this is just a reflective strap. You just put it over your shoulders or around your backpack, um, and it really helps to in, in, pre, in increase visibility uh, yeah. when you're biking because even the lights as great as they are they're small so the more visibility you can have the better um and then just to try not to wear dark dark clothing i was like uh, yeah. who wears black all the yeah, time yeah i know so exactly because i tend to wear dark clothing so mm -hmm. i need i definitely need stuff like this and um so and they also sell reflective jackets and bright jackets if you do um if if you are trying to make yourself more visible just the more the more bright colors you have. Maybe the shoes like the gentleman was wearing earlier would be good. There so, we go, glow you know, in the dark socks. So, yeah, exactly, all that sort of thing. So, so. Spe speaking of things that can be seen in the dark, mm -hmm. also, how do people buy helmets from downtown on the go? Sure, so, um, so helmets can be purchased either at the Downtown on the Go shop, which is open once a week, or by an appointment by contacting Downtown on the Go, and, and that all can be found on their website. And helmets, um, while they may not come in reflective colors, you can always outfit Decorate them with them. stickers and things like that to make it a bit yeah. more a, a bit more visible. You can have to a dazzler while you're. Yeah. There too, okay? <laughs> so, ha Hallie, these in this in this next couple minutes or so, um, I want to hear from you about some different events that Downtown on the Go may have in the Hopper, and then uh, what do we look forward to next year? And of course, who do we need to thank? Yeah, great. So we have. Um, this is our last bike event of the year, November 1st, but we have our last event of the year is our Ride the Bus event on November 15th with Metro Park CEO Sean Sylvia. And so we'll be riding the 41 bus to the new East Side Community Center. And so there's more information about that, really exciting. And then right in January, we'll start back up again with our Friday Forum series. And so we'll be hosting those sort of lunch hour conversations about transportation issues and topics that impact Tacoma's transportation um, more largely with experts and community leaders. And for who we have to thank, Downtown the Go is a partnership between Pierce Transit, the City of Tacoma, and the Chamber of Commerce. And as I mentioned, we are so excited to have such a supportive council and mayor. Yes. And so just want to make sure we thank them. And then um, Geo Engineers is sponsoring the Light Up Your Ride event this year. They have a really, they have lots of great bike commuters there. Um, and so we're excited to have them on board again. And 
yeah, they're helping this event be possible. That is incredible. And um, is there, I just, my, my mother brains in, is there a limit to the number of lights that you can have for your family? Or, or are supplies pretty pretty well stocked at this point? Yeah, I mean, well, it, it's a one, for the bike lights, it's one per person. Right. But okay. we have the back reflectors as well and the flashlights. And so we hope that um, if people show up, we have, we won't run out of things. So, um, oh, that would be mm -hmm. great. Like and again, it's, you can come anytime in between five and seven. And get the hot chocolate. Yes. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. And, and perhaps look at a new strap or something. There we go. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you to both of you for being here today. Um, this is something that, I mean, if I could look at both of your calendars and say, today is the 25th, you are already working into the springtime. Um, and that takes such a sense of vision for our downtown. Um, as you said, it took you a while to get used to the idea of biking at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And I have never felt more safe in the city of Tacoma when I have been on my bike or walking downtown. Mm -hmm. Because downtown is so well lit, there's great signage, and there's people moving and grooving on their bikes. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you so much for paving the way for that because we're vital um, and it's starting to uh, continue to build the momentum of different ways of transportation and that has your titles written all over it. So thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Well, that wraps up another great segment of City Line. It is always a pleasure and privilege to be in your home. We've given you some really great things to think about in this past hour, so please. Go out there, be a part of the tapestry, and above all, pay it forward. And when you come back, as always, we'll be waiting for you right here at City Line. Beam me up. <laughs>